All right, so I want to talk to the public <laughs> about a great situation and abuse I've been going through. <sighs> but for quite some time since I ever met Tony, he has been the biggest abuser in this world. And he, I know he continues to live. I want to see. I gotta change my goals today. I'm going to change. On the way now, I'm not feeling well. Um. So Anthony Francis Vitali today is his day of glory at the Holy Trinity Church. I'll tell you his day of glory next Sunday when Father Andy chokes the shit out of him in front of the altar. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is not happening no more. We're gonna be very honest about so many topics today. I'm trying to take five minutes of it. We need, we need to be more. You guys talk about liberal. Look at my face. This is his result every time I get off my psych medications and I get a heart on an erection. Back to the psych ward or, or poison me with a date rape drug, drug named Liquid Gene. And he did this without. Trust me, it was him. Trust me, it was a jersey crop. Trust me, he's the one that did this. Honestly, you don't want me sucking dick. I'll be totally honest. He has something against me. So I gotta deal with this for another two weeks. And then he'll try to send me to a psych ward. Alright, so I'm going into my notes uh, to be more professional. Evelyn and, and Tony are the only adopted children of America. Um, they're the most miserable people in the world. Two miserable fucks in the world. The crazy Democrats are fucking miserable. We, we need to be liberal, like people from the United Kingdom. We, I believe in a progressive transformation of our nation. They believe in a digressive transformation of our nation. It's about progressive transformational change in our nation. And then he's the back of the real recipe of crystal meth and federal. And let me be honest, we cannot handle drug use. It's part of our society, part of our community, the United Kingdom and Europe. And then you guys treating like a dare program, a rehab program, everybody treating it like that. Your kids are going to turn out to be dead in the streets, abused, used as prostitutes. That doesn't happen in Europe. Look at my face today. Look at the results on my face with him. Because Liquid G, I'm, this is the first time. Eddie Trump got it the first time he did it to me. Please be the witness, Eddie, of how bad. You know, you're talking, no, no. I don't know what the guys got. Sometimes something tell something people are dead. So, so, you know, um, they, you guys know the uh, um, appendix rupture, the my like, swollen lips were like that. My grandfather, the radio story, I went to him and told him about it. It happens every time. I, I tell everybody that I'm highly allergic to that Liquid G. I, that's the first thing I said when I was talking about, I'm allergic, I'm not doing it with me. And the old man already prepared that for me. And already been to the location. He's on this site in NKW and he has 26, 26 fake profiles in this, in this website. Tony has to get killed. That motherfucker piece of shit needs to fucking get killed. And he has managed to, 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 to recommend new drug dealers to people. And they've been buying for so many years and they don't know they're doing crap. Mixed with crystal math. And they angry people. The most racist white older men, successful men in New York City. They ra That's why I don't, I, don't, I don't deal with them generally. I'm in Manhattan. But it's the most racist motherfuckers in the world. Oh, okay. So back to him. And now he has the subway conductors and the, the bus drivers contact a dispatcher to contact the NYPD to get my buses um, escorted out of certain places. They kicked me out of Harlem. They kicked me out of... I, I, I can't go nowhere. I, I, in Brooklyn, they do the same thing. Once I went to Brooklyn for something, and, and, and they escorted me out. I didn't even know what to do. The bus driver felt bad and took me to the train station. Um, like, you overdoing it, Tony. Now he, he, he writes as a former retired police officer because they say Edward Cabana is a conflict of interest because he's family with my distant family. So he wants to take care of everything that has to do with Queen Elizabeth's youngest grandchild. Because it's a conflict of interest for him. I'm not going to write too much, but... Uh, 26 fake profiles. Um, he's done this at the Flatbush area in Brooklyn College. He a uh, show sending an ambulance because the, he canceled the bus. The, the Q-train smells like shit. Like, I'm only, like no one could breathe there for an hour. Now, he took them off on Saturday when I had to take him. Uh, ambulance running right, uh, a new person I mean, running back and forth like a crazy maniac into the Flatbush Brooklyn College area. And the bus that I had to take to the train to Brooklyn College train station was not working. I had to take another bus to somewhere else. I didn't even know cross town bus. 
Nu går det. 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 Nu går